Hey guys, welcome back. Today it is so freezing cold outside. We're going to stay inside and we are going to do a little home automation scripting with Python and PXpect. Let's get to it. Okay guys, what we have today is we have an access point, a wireless access point that we want to reboot on a regular basis. So we're going to write a script that SSHs into the access point, uh, elevates the privilege, and then runs the reboot command. Let's take a look at the script. A little background on the command line structure of this access point we're going to reboot. So the script we're going to perform, basically we're going to do these tasks. We're going to SSH with a username admin to an IP address. Uh, let's just pick uh, one here. And then it's going to ask us for a password. So we'll have to send it a password. And you notice how there's a colon right there. So that's going to be important when it comes to our script, you know, what the feedback is. Um, so let's go ahead and type in a password. And then you can see our prompt here. So we're actually in the access point now. Um, here's our prompt, and then it's followed by a pound sign. So to, to issue a reboot to this device, you're going to have to go to your elevated privilege mode, which is your configure mode, and then you're going to have to type the command reboot. Um, and then the feedback we're going to need is we get this yes, no, or a colon. So I'm not going to reboot this one right now because we're going to write a script to do that. Um, we, have an access, we have an access point in our lab um, that we want to write a script to go out and reboot every once in a while. So um, to do that, we're going to use Python and pexpect. And uh, we're on a Mac here uh, as we wrote the script. But the script's actually going to run on a small Raspberry Pi zero wireless. Um, you've probably seen the other video we have about that. Um, but it's going to run on that along with some other automation scripts we're going to build in the future. We'll put, we'll put those in the videos also. Um, but this IP address right here is uh, my lab AP and my script is right here. Let's run through it real quick. Um, we're going to need a couple modules uh, to make this Python script happen. One is pexpect and the other is sys. Uh, pexpect is a module that allows you to spawn commands on your system. Um, this will be running on a Linux system, uh, so this is written written for a Linux spawn. Uh, it's not going to be compatible with Windows. Um, I'll get in, I'm not going to get into that now. Maybe we'll make another video to do this on Windows, but this this will need a Linux system. So. Um, the sys uh, module, it's going to just give us our output so we can read it. Uh, we got a few variables uh, defined here. Uh, one is the server IP, which is the IP of the access point, and that's 192.168.1.235 in the lab. Uh, we have a user, which is admin, and we have a password, which is the same, which is admin uh, on our lab access point. First thing we're going to do is do a pexpect spawn that means it's going to run a program ssh um, attaching the admin user to the server ip of 192.168.1.235 and then we're going to grab that output um, the timeout's going to be 60 seconds we're setting that just to make sure if something goes wrong it will just eventually fail um, we one thing we have to do when we spawn uh, commands is we p expect it's it's going to tell the system what, what do you expect back the script's going to say what what am I supposed to see back and and this is it so when we launch uh, this SSH session to the access point it's going to ask us for a password and when we expect this password prompt we're going to go ahead and send it the password which we have defined up above. Um, after we send the password, what are we going to expect? We're going to expect a wildcard because each one of these access points has a, the serial number as its prompt. So we're going to leave that as kind of an open, let's don't look specifically for that, but let's look for the pound sign at the end, which is this. Um, and once we get that pound sign, we're going to send the configure command because we have to elevate the privilege on these access points in order to perform the reboot. So 
That will change our prompt back to a pound sign. There will be the serial number with configure. Again, we're going to ignore all that. Look for a pound sign. That's what this line is. Next, we're going to issue the reboot command. Um, and we're going to expect a colon after that because what it's going to do is ask us when we issue that reboot command, are you sure? Do you really want to do it? And we're going to send a yes. And then we don't really care what the output is after that because we're going to see it reboot. So let's, uh, let's see this in action. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run Python 3 and we are going to do our AP reboot script. Um, this area down here shows the AP is responding. It's on the network and responding. We're pinging it. So let's run our script. Okay, looks like it completed. Let's wait and see if we get some timeouts here. There we go. So that's the quick and easy how to how to automate things. Now what we'll do is on our Raspberry Pi wireless we'll go ahead and drop that into a cron job and say you know uh, once a week, once a month, whatever iteration we choose we're gonna go out and we're gonna uh, reboot that device. So uh, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching. That's all we have for today guys. I hope uh, this was helpful. I hope this got you into becoming a script writer, script kitty as they call them on the internet. Um, we'll, there'll be plenty more of that on this channel, so hit that subscribe button if you're into this. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.